All right, let's look at the tail of the tape for this 30-pound final. Moccasin's up first, Ricky Willems, Baltimore, Maryland. He's got the rotary slash cam lifter and 34 inches of reach, massive. Matthew Zhang from Urbana, Illinois is here with his hammer saw robot, Colossal Avian, with a whopping inch of reach? I don't I think that's right. More. Maybe that's one foot. Let's call it 12 <laughs> inches, because it's got a hammer saw. It's swinging that arm it's in front of it. Arm. But pretty wild match, hammer saw versus a rotary lifter. Moccasin, you don't see it often. very hard to fight. I've been saying this all day, yeah. and it's still true. It's so wide, it's so long, it's just confusing to fight against. You don't know where to go. You try to get around it, and you can't, because it's just so big. Well, what do you guys think? YouTube has uh, mock. 75% of our YouTube chat has Moccasin. All right, folks. Three, two, there we go. We are Let's in the go. Right now. Moccasin slow out of the gate here, playing it up. Colossal Avian just going right into the front. Arms yeah. seems to be stuck in I the extended position. I think a position. lot of things are stuck on Colossal Avian uh -oh. right now. They are having mobility issues. They are having weapon issues. Not how you want to start the finals. Ooh. Moccasin having a difficult time here getting under them, getting in with the uh, the weapon. Yeah, because it's hitting that arm and the arm's compliant. So they, they hit it, you're not getting any <laughs> lift, you're just kind of flipping it. Flipping it back. Yeah, unable to really grab anything, just sort of shoving them around. But Colossal Avian, uh, unfortunately, not able to be very mobile. Getting a little bit here. Yeah, you know, uh, Moccasin really controlling this fight at this point. Moccasin's fight to lose. Colossal Avian got to figure out what's going wrong. Uh, <laughs> looks like they need to turn it off and on again, unfortunately. Yeah, they, they don't get a chance Cannot to power cycle now, now, a minute into the fight. Perhaps Moccasin will provide some percussive maintenance for them. <laughs> For the uninitiated, percussion maintenance is what we call it when you hit a robot just the right way and then it starts working again. You might remember your old tube television set that used to do the same thing. Always a risk when your opponent is sitting like this, you go in and tap them and they just magically come back to 100%. <laughs> uh, which maybe seems to have happened here, you know? Colossal Avian back moving again. Moccasin, though, very good competitor. All of the evening has been uh, knocking people back onto their feet, keeping the fights going. Still just enough movement in Colossal Avian to not get them counted out. Oh, no. I feel like I can hear Colossal oh, Avian. What are you doing, what are Ricky? You doing Ricky? <laughs> Ricky! He's threatened. I don't know if Ricky's going to be able to lift Come that on, Flo, much weight. For, uh, for the record, Flo weighs like, what, 300 and something pounds? Yeah, that's a, a lot of 300. robots. That's, uh, you know, that's tough. <laughs> Colossal Avian was making noises, but it doesn't seem to be moving. No. So that means your winner at the second Golden Doctor 2024, Ricky Willems and Moccasin. Round of applause from the crowd. The difference between taking a weekend in 2018 or 19 or whatever it was to throw something together and bring it in and be competitive and then taking basically two months to put this together and even now I'm like, oh, I'm, I've got, I'm a 20% into the workload to get this where it needs to be. It's monumental. Like this has been a complete uh, change to my concept of a robot uh, competitor, of how I relate to being a robot competitor. Ricky, it is my honor and privilege as your friend and co-host to hand you your golden dumpster for New Bots January. Congratulations. Is it always this heavy or am I tired? Awesome. So, so awesome. I'm really happy for Ricky. Me too. First of all, really weird to see Ricky at an event with no costume changes. He's worn the same thing all day. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, the other point I wanted to, be, uh, to bring up, 
Ricky brought up a great point. His superpower in this sport in so many ways is networking, making those relationships, making those connections, and bringing those amazing people onto his team that are able to help him accomplish something so incredible in just two months. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that, that Maryland squad, the <laughs> Bone Dead, Honey Cracked, Mammoth, they're good. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Ricky's a genius. He's a great engineer, but man, he's got a phenomenal team behind him. And great yeah. to hear the crowd with the Ricky chant at the end there, letting them know, uh, you know, how much they enjoyed that performance. He put on a and great Ricky, show all day. Ricky coming back all here, right. supposed to be at All Stars, couldn't get the robot finished in time. Comes here, runs the table. Great job. Yeah.